Hello again fellas, it's me again. I've been playing with this new flyback I got since I blew the other one up. Uh, this little one here is awesome by the way. But I've got this circuit going quite nicely at over 40 volts. So let's see what happens when we're switching on. We're about 35 volts there, pulling about 5 amps. Take it up to uh, 40 volts. The humming you can hear is a variac by the way. That's 52 volts. Run quite nicely there. That's 52 volts there, drawing about 6 amps. It goes up to 10 when I draw an arc. I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching. See arc on 20 volts. Fifty volts. There is no heat at all in the transistors. They're only slightly warm. Most of the heat's in the capacitors and the resistors. But yeah, it'll do that all day. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> yeah, that uh, nail is getting real hot. <laughs> I love the smell of ozone in the morning. It's actually quite interesting. If I uh, close the gap really small and then bring the voltage up, it will make that nail get very hot. That's at 60 volts, and as you can see, it's an arc lamp. It is bits of metal. I don't know if you can see that, but bits of molten nail is flying off everywhere there. Yeah, 60 volts, and it's melting that nail right down. <laughs> oh well, enough arson awesome round. Yeah, so here's the circuit so far, these IRFP250s. They're running as is, with no fans. There's hardly any warmth in there at all. These 11 watt 470 ohm resistors, they're a bit hot. Well, I wouldn't say hot, but they're quite warm. Obviously, these two capacitors in series are quite hot. Ow, actually, fucking hell. They're actually uh, really hot. Flyback was a tiny bit warm. Windings are quite warm as well. Other than that, she's quite happy. Now I'm going to get onto a circuit board, make it look nice and pretty. Thanks for watching.